Hey traders, Jason here from Lever Brothers. So in this video, I'm just gonna flip through some trade examples, all right? I highly recommend all of you to build some sort of trade library. Um, these are trades that you've done and you annotate them, you put them in multiple time frames, you describe them, you build your library of your trades. You can also put in trades that you didn't do. I mean, there's a thousand tradable tickers out there. You're not gonna get all of them. So if you see good trades after the fact, put them in your library, mark them up, study them. And then when you, you build an entire library, then, you, then you, you, you spend time. It could be at night, it could be in the weekends, during the day when the market's slow, and you can flip through them and see how they progress, see what the sequence is uh, on multiple time frames, and you train your eye to see them uh, and to execute them. Um, and you know it, it's it's a good it, you know it's it's a good training mechanism to build a trade library. So every once in a while, I do one of these videos where I just pull some trades, pull some charts out of my trade library, bring them to your attention. You know, to be successful in this industry, you just need one simple setup that is comfortable to execute. That's you know fits your personality. That works, and you could just do that trade over and over and over. Okay, so if you need some trade. Uh, you know, some trade sequence ideas, check out my masterclass. I talk about many of them uh, with a handful of simple indicators. All right, so let's flip through some uh, examples here. All right, here is AI. So it was one of the market's strongest stocks. You can see it came out of a base over here, ran up uh, in January, February, then it kind of rolled up and down here. And I'm going to zoom in on this area right here. This is the daily chart, so I'm going to zoom in. Uh, we had support here at 20, okay? Does support have to hold? No, it's just an area of interest, okay? The stock had tested it here, it tested here, and it was in the process of testing it here. So I wanted to zoom in on this area to see if there was a trade to be had. Uh, it turns out there was. This was a stock that I put on the Lever Brothers trading list. Uh, so let's zoom in here. Here's the two-hour chart. Um, this area that we're talking about is in here, so it's about six, seven days. So a couple things I want to point out. Let me get rid of that. All right, so first of all, we have a positive divergence. Price makes a lower low, higher low here from the MACD histogram, okay? Then you have, after that positive divergence is in place, you have a rally off that, and what that during that rally, the MACD crosses up, the stochastic trends up. Then you have a counter move. And during the counter move, you can see that the MACD does not cross back down. It stays trending up. And at the same time, the stochastic cycles down and then curls back up. So I call this my kiss, which is right here, and my cross, which is right there. Okay, so it's, it's a move, a counter move, and then a move. And then during that time, you get a cross and then a kiss and cross to signal a continuation of the new trend. And at the same time, we were getting a kiss here and a cross here. The stock was coming out of a base, forming an easily definable trend line, and then it broke out. And you can see it went from you know 21 half, 22 up to 26, which is a fantastic trade. As I said at the top, it only takes one simple setup that works, that fits your personality, study it, do it enough times that you get good at it, and you can just do this over and over and over and over and over, and you could pretty much ignore everything else. All right, so this was a really good one. Next up, AMD. Okay, this is the weekly chart. So we'll look at the weekly, then we'll zoom in. So what I see here is we have you know lower highs, lower lows, going back several months. We have a move up here which causes the MAC to cross up. And of course the stochastic was already trending. Then you get a counter move over here, in which case the MACD just simply came down and kissed there. The stochastic came down and crossed there. So that's my kiss and cross. And then we get a continuation of the move right there. So let's zoom in on this area to get a little bit of assistance with an entry. Cause even though we got a really good signal in the weekly chart, we're not, we don't, I don't, I don't find entries on the weeklies because they're just uh, it just covers too many days. So I'm going to zoom in at least with the daily, maybe shorter to find a good entry. So let's do that right now. So here is <clears throat> the daily chart. So we're going to zoom in on the area here. This area here is that dip within uh, the newly forming uptrend. I get a positive divergence here, as you can see. 
between the s stock making a lower low, MACD histogram putting in a higher low, stochastic already trending up. So then positive divergence, AMD rallies up, which case the MACD crosses up, stochastic crosses up and trends up. Then you get a counter move here. And during the counter move, the MACD comes down and kisses, the stochastic cycles down and crosses, and then you get a resumption. Then you get another counter move when you get another kiss here, another cross here, and then a resumption there. Okay, so pretty simple. Okay, to me, the MACD is the trend, and then the stochastic is a timing mechanism within the trend. Okay, I talk about this in my master class. Let's go to the next one. Here's Best Buy. This is the weekly chart. We're going to zoom in over here to the end of the year, end of last year, beginning of this year. We have price makes a higher high, MACD histogram lower, lower high, stochastic lower high. So we got a divergence in place. Um, and so we're going to let's zoom in and look at this area to here to see if we can get a, a short entry because, you know, the divergence told us we're probably not going to get a whole lot of upside momentum. If we do, that's fine. Um, but this is definitely an area of interest and a time of interest that we want to key in on. So here's the daily best buy chart. So for starters, I actually had this as a long as a potential long. Okay, because we had what would what would be considered a really nice cup and handle pattern here, rallied up, you know, nice cup, nice handle, uh, resistance, pretty easily to define, broke out, and as you can see, it broke out like 85, 86, and went up to 90, so not bad, but um, again, remember this isn't this was a time and an area of interest because we were getting a negative divergence on the weekly chart. So what happened is. Um, if you're long, you just simply manage the trade. This is a big enough move down that you would have gotten out along the way and at least taken a small profit. So this is a big move down. Let me delete some of this stuff here. So this is a big, this is a decent size move down. And what happened is the MACD crossed down. Then you get a counter move. And during the counter move, the MACD was not able to cross back up. It just went up and kissed the stochastic moved up and then cycled back down and then crossed back down and then we get a continuation there okay so the first move down here it you know offers the offers the warning that like hey we might have a trend reversal this crosses down stochastic is trending down okay then the counter move which could be considered a, an attempt to just you know continue the 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 overall dominant trend but because that lacks energy, because it lacks any type of directional momentum that lasts long, the MAC is not able to cross back up. The stochastic simply rotates up and then ro and then and then curls back down, and then we get a a, a move in uh, the opposite direction, and that officially ends the uptrend that was in place, you know, from back here, and it starts a downtrend. Then, okay, then you get counter moves. So move down this counter move. And then it continues, and during the counter move, you got a kiss here and a cross here, and it continues on. Okay, let's move on. Here is Mara. So first, I'll just briefly talk about the top here. Um, first, so stock was doing well, had trended up for almost two weeks. We got a big move down here, which causes which caused the MACD to cross down. Stochastic is already moving down. Then you get a counter move, okay? And during the counter move, the counter move lacks any type of directional, you know, energy. So the MACD is unable to cross back up. The stochastic simply rotates up to a high level and then curls back down. And then you get a continuation um, of the newly formed downtrend. Zooming in closer, um, we just had a trade or a, a trade signal yesterday. We had a this is uh, you know lower lows here, higher lows from the MACD histogram. We have higher low here, but more important was we had a trend line here. Okay, I do draw trend lines on my stochastic. I talk about this in my master class. So positive divergences here. Okay, so late yesterday we had signals, and then today you can uh, you actually you could see that stock gapped up, and it's you know up like 10% or so uh, as of this uh, recording. So that wasn't too bad. We got signals at the top, and then we got you know signal down here after 
um, after you know three or four day pullback. All right, next one is Riot. Okay, we got higher high here, lower high there. So there's your pot, there's your uh, negative divergence. This move here is big enough to cause this to cross down. This was already trending down. Then you get a counter move here to a higher high, but the MACD only moved up here, kissed, stochastic moved up here and crossed, and then you get a resumption of the newly formed trend. Okay, so what happens is the, the first move down is like a warning, and if, if it recovers here and the, and the MACD crosses back up, then fine, we got, you know, uptrend remains in place. It's so kind of like what happened here where we cross back down, but the MACD crossed back up. But when you have that one more bounce and the MACD is unable to cross back up, that's when you get a signal. All right, last ticker. This is VFC. So stock is weak, trending down. You can see mostly above, mostly below the eight, which is the light blue line, always below the 21. So, so I draw a trend line here. And then what I do is I draw a trend line through the high here in parallel to that trend line and it gives me an idea of where the stock might uh, bounce to. Okay, so first I'm, gonna, first I'm gonna talk about a long that was signaled, then I'm gonna go talk about a short. What we had here um, going back is you have a move here which crossed this up, okay? Stochastic was already trending up. Then you have a move down uh, and obviously lower low here but you have a higher low here you got a kiss here, cross here, and then you got a bounce in here. Okay, so that bounce from 25 to over 30, that's perfectly playable. It doesn't look like much on this chart. This is a weekly chart. But again, in order to become good, in order to make a living at this, in order to really make a lot of money, all you need is a simple setup that works, that meets your, you know, fits your personality, something that you can execute within your comfort zone get really good at it, practice it, get really good at it, and you can make a living just doing the same trade over and over. So this is a really simple setup um, that you could do. So backing this stuff up, so that was a long. Now, this over here was an area of interest here, just simply because one, it was the 21 day, it was a 21 week moving average, which was, uh, you know, it had turn the stock back several times over the previous year. And it was also the location of this trend line, which again was drawn parallel to the bottom trend line through the tops over here. So this over here was an area of interest. Uh, so let's zoom in and see if we can find a short entry there. So we come over here. What we have here is we have a higher high, we have a lower low there. So we have a negative divergence, we get a big, fairly big move down there, that crosses down, that crosses down, then you get a counter move within the newly formed downtrend, and during that counter move, the SM, the MACD just simply comes up and kisses, stochastic goes up and then crosses back down. That was a tougher entry because we didn't get too much of a kiss here, um, and this didn't cycle up too high, so that was a harder entry, uh, but this is a bigger bounce within the downtrend, and we actually do get a kiss here, there was a day or two where it went above zero. That's okay, um, and we got a bigger bounce here from the stochastic up to the up to the 80 mark, and then rotate down. So kiss here, cross here, resumption of the downtrend. <clears throat> All right, some simple ideas to chew on. If you need some trade ideas, uh, like some trade setups, I, examples. You know, check out my masterclass. I offer many of them. Again, all you need is a simple setup that works, that fits your personality, practice it, study it, get good at it, and just do that simple setup over and over, and you can make a living doing this stuff. All right? Um, that's it for now. I'll see you next time.